We make clothes for families of all ages to go out and live the everyday should feel this good life. We always love seeing our pink smiling whale on the back of cars. And the idea that Vineyard Vines represents every day should feel this good, which is kind of the line or way of life that we march to around here. People feel so passionate that they're a part of something good. And that by wearing our clothes, by putting their sticker on their car, that they're part of this every day should feel this good way of life and movement. It's 1997. Ian and I were living at home with our parents and we have these so-called great jobs and they were just unfulfilling and it just seemed like life had room for color still and so we decided to make colorful neckties that with with icons of all of the places and things that we loved and we started on Martha's Vineyard and, and we made these neckties with the street signs of Martha's Vineyard bluefish we all have Jeeps and four by fours. And the idea was to bring the good life to work with you whenever a tie was necessary. You know, we're not really clothing guys or fashion guys. So we took that same love that we have for like fishing and a great fly reel or a beautiful guitar and we put that passion behind making a necktie. In the New York area, we'd go to the Brooklyn Navy Yard and we'd meet with somebody who makes you know, bow ties. Do you know how to make a necktie? No, well do you know anyone who does? And just ask questions. We had nothing to lose. We were young, we didn't have families and mortgages and all that type of stuff. Sort of our naivety of what we were doing and the timing from which we did it turned out to be really fortuitous in, in terms of our success. You never know until you try. And Ian and I were hell bent on not having our epitaph site. We didn't try. And so Ian and I were really, you know, we had nothing really going for us, except for the fact that we really wanted to do this and we wanted to give it a try. The worst thing that could happen is we could get back on that train and go get another job in New York City. The company's a little bit customer led. People will say, from the very beginning, you know, do you guys sell in this store in Boston? If you don't, you should. I'll make the introduction. Can you make product for my son's college? You know, how about our yacht club? Or have you guys thought about making stuff for girls? And they, if they have great ideas. They're suggesting because they see a need. And today, we can get so much information from so many of our customers and we can really aggregate it in a way that we can make decisions, not only to sort of minimize our risk, but really more so to give the customers what they're looking for. We don't have to guess. You know, there's a lot less guesswork when you really take advantage of technology that's available to us today. 20 years later, we're still 100% owned by Ian and me. Candidly, we went through a process where we explored selling a piece of the business and at the end of the day, it just didn't feel right. I'm not saying it's never gonna happen, but from day one, we never did this to make money. We did it because we didn't wanna work again. And people say that if you do what you love, you'll never have to work a day in your life. And, and we really live by those and believe in it. It's an interesting phenomenon to be beholden to someone else's money because you're not able to make the decisions that you want to make. I think we still don't feel like we've made it. We feel like there's so much blue water ahead of us for the brand and so many opportunities that we have yet to act upon. On the counterpart, I think one of the reasons why we have all those opportunities and the brand is very strong is because we stay focused. Brand decisions are long-term decisions. This, what does this brand look like in 10 years, 20, 50 years? Will it be a brand that, that endures for hundreds of years? And that's always been our goal. It's not about us, it's about making sure that this brand is relevant forever.